High Witches, Blessed Be. Let's get into it. Today's Wednesday is the middle of the week and I'm feeling mighty witchy. Um, I found out something about a friend today that really broke my heart. And this is a spell that it was already on schedule. And it was the spell that I was going to share with you guys anyways this week. It is a spell for when your man is being unfaithful to you. There's one of you guys out there that's how he's going through this awful experience. It is extremely painful and it's extremely unfair. But you know what? There's some women out there that are not very good. There's some men out there that are not very good. If you find yourself in this situation, hopefully this spell can help you get your man back and punish. Fucking bitch. That is messing up with your happiness. Now, for the spell, we're going to need some serious justify anger. Because everything in this spell is going to be your anger. And it is your right to get your man back. It is entirely up to you if you want to spend your energy and maybe get some karma out of this spell getting your man back. Make sure this is indeed a good man. Chances are that once he's unfaithful to you once, he will be unfaithful to you again. And chances are that if he has this one, he probably has other ones. So be very smart about your choices when it comes to do this spell or not. It is a strong spell and it's going to take all your anger and extremely strong intentions. It's going to be rather easy. You're going to need an egg. You're going to need four quarters, 25 cents. You're going to need four of this ones. You're going to need sour milk. Okay. It asks for you to leave the sour milk outside and let it sour and go bad by itself. Not for you to sour this milk with vinegar or with lemon. So try to leave your milk outside at least for two days. Okay, and then sour it that way. You need a plant. You need a plant with some room because we're going to dig this plant out and we're going to put the egg inside with the quarters. Okay, so you need room for that egg. And we're going to do a little chant. All right. So make sure you gather all your anger, your justify anger, and your intentions, and you're getting your man back, and this woman is getting punishment. All right? So let's start it. I got the four quarters over here. It's very easy. There's one more thing that you guys need to have, and that is a little baby um, gift card. Like, no gift card, but a little postcard for a gift. Uh, in my case, I did this in a sticky note. I just felt like doing it in a sticky note. If you want to do your own card, fine. Now, this spell calls for you to make sure that the person, that other woman that has your man, or that other man that has your woman, needs to receive this, this potted plant. Okay? I don't know if it's going to be easy for you to do something like that. There's some of you that could come up with some serious, ingenious ideas. If you're one of those persons that you do not know exactly who this woman is, where she's at or where she leave, get creative, okay? Make some kind of representation of this person. If you have pictures, print some pictures and do a little corner somewhere in your backyard or somewhere in your um, basement or somewhere dark and put that picture in there of that woman or of that man if you have property and you cannot reach her or him but you have property of that person put it somewhere in a corner where you can actually give this plan to that property because that property is going to become the person all right now the best way for this spell to work, and I'm not saying, because I know some of you guys are going to start asking me, oh, why Raven, does that mean this is not going to work if I don't see the person? That's not what I'm saying. 
it is best for you to have this delivered to the person. But if you cannot do it, make sure you have some kind of representation of that person and you're going to give this plant to that representation, whatever it is, personal property, a picture, whatever it is, okay? And you're going to leave the plant in there until it dies. And then you're going to grab it and you're going to throw it away. Wherever you want to throw it away, all right? Now, we have the four quarters. We have the egg. Egg means fertility, relationships. Sour milk is going to sour all that. And that's what you're going to do, okay? So focus on what we're doing. It's extremely easy. Egg, sour milk, four quarters, a plant, and a little card. You can do this. I have Celia Cruz on. Who else? You gotta get inspired. So wish me luck with the plant. Because right now I'm going to replant it somewhere else. I got a big container here. It's night time. We can do this, people. I'm going to get some of this earth out. I'm going to put some back of the soil in the container. Obviously, I don't want to put this right on top of the egg. It's going to break. Every time I play with soil, it just feels that I'm even more in contact with Mother Earth elements that is earth to the universe I'm connecting okay, I'm gonna put my plant in here put it on the side now see if you can see this in there see that I'm gonna put a fucking egg right there now we're going to get the quarters, 25 cents, and we're going to put them around, around the egg. Now what are we going to do? Replant this baby again. We're going to move a little bit of this earth, of the soil, make sure she fits back in there again. I'm going to give this back. I already told you guys that I don't make any jobs for any anybody. I don't like to work for anybody, but this is a really dear friend of mine, and she really broke my heart today when she was telling me about this, and she was asking me for help. And I just cannot say no to her. She's very dear to me and very close to my heart. So I really don't care about doing this. I'm going to give this to her and she's going to be doing any chance that I'm going to share here with you. Okay. She's the one that's going to be doing that. Okay. So I replanted this baby. Okay. So what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm going to water my plant with the sour milk. We're souring this. Okay. Souring this. Now. We're going to do this chant. We're going to do chant twice. So hear me up. Okay? Twixt. He and thee is nothing. Enmity I place, place instead. Let me repeat it again. Twixt he and thee is nothing more. Enmity I place instead. I'll have my little card with the name of your loved one. 
you're going to put in here the name of your husband or the name of your wife okay if you're a man and you're doing this because your wife is with another man so you put the name of your wife here if you're a woman and you're doing this because your man is with another woman you put the name of your husband here okay almost as is pretending that your husband or your wife is giving this to the other person all right so it's still a little card that's coming from your husband or wife and we're going to talk this right here anywhere where the flower is okay now we're going to do a chant and this chant is going to be the same but we're going to slightly change the he for the she twixt she and there is nothing more enmity i place instead again twixt she and there is and thee is nothing more enmity i place instead all right i'm going to write this down because i know it's kind of like tongue twisting especially for my super duper english uh, so i'm going to write this down for you guys and that's it you are going to present this to the person that is taking away your husband you can send somebody you can send somebody to put this in front of their doors just give it to them okay if you do not have contact with that person make sure that you have a specific place in your house where you live or around you where you can put this with a picture of the person or property of the person that represents that person and you're going to give this plant to that representation and you're going to let it die and when it dies you just toss it infidelity should be one of those things punishable where the hardest punishes out there that's a betrayal. People that is not loyal and not faithful do not deserve to be loved. Then again, if you think this is a good man, that maybe is confused, if you think this is a confused woman, uh, that is actually a good woman, and you want this person back, this is something that you can do in order to help you get that person back into your life. Use your intentions, your justify anger, and get what's yours, and send punishment to this evil woman or man that is getting in between you, either man or female, or woman that you love. Stay wicked, witches. Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do in order to protect what we love, and we have to utilize anger that is absolutely 100% justifiable. This is White Raven over here. See you soon, witches. Bye.